Well, we are happy this morning to be joined by Killer Bees, who's going to be at the Historic Ritz Theater. It's coming up on June the 7th, 7.30 p.m. show, and uh, just a, a, a fine performer, great performer, does a great job. And uh, welcome to our program this morning, Killer Bees. Hey, thanks, Phil. It's good hearing your voice, dude, and uh, thanks for letting me call in. This is, this is going to be a fun trip. I've been to Tacoa before. I actually did a performance at the Curahi Winery. Oh wow! Over there, yeah. So y'all, man, that is, y'all live in a gorgeous, gorgeous part of the country. Well, we appreciate. So, it. yeah. So look at man, I'm looking forward to coming back to the area, dude. It's uh, we're going to talk about the Moonshiners TV show and uh, just what's been going on with me on tour and just cool stuff like that, man. It's a uh, uh, it's a good show. It's not an offensive show. It's not a dirty act. It's it's not a blue show, so I want people to know that. So you can bring Nana and them. <laughs> bring Nana. <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, definitely a family oriented show, and and uh, you know a, a wonderful thing. I was reading a little bit. You're a, a multi talented guy, and that you are a musician before becoming well, a comedian. Well, yeah, I, that's how I got the name Killer Bees. I was playing blues guitar in Jackson, Mississippi. And my last name, Phil, is Beasley. And you know how people will abbreviate last names. Mm-hmm. Everybody called me Bees my whole life. So when I was a guitar player, I'd go do my little thing in front of the band with my guitar. And the people that knew me, dude, would go, that was killer, Bees. <laughs> and the people, Phil, the people that didn't know me thought they were saying that that was killer Bees on guitar. So it sort of became a stage name back when I was playing blues, but when I started stand-up 42 freaking years ago, (laughs) I just kept that stage name. So it's been a hoot, man. Yeah, that is wild. That is wild. But, you know, uh, you you probably agree with this. Uh, Music uh, can be a little bit like comedy, can it? It's It's a rhythm to both of them, right? Well, it is, and and I and I'll say this because performance art people who are performance artists, whether they're, they're dancers or singers or or whatever, um, are good communicators, and that, and I think that's what a lot of us have in common. You know, people who who live on stage, if you will, we're able to because we're good communicators. And so that really serves you well in this industry if you're able to wordsmith and and actually get points and stuff across to people. I'm trying to make a, a movie scene in the audience's head. That's what I try to do because I'm a storyteller pretty much, and I want people to see a little cool, funny, happening movie movie scene in their head. So I mean, you do a great job of it. And I, I've loved hearing you through the years, and you, you're a. Uh, uh, you just have that uh, that perfect accent too that to, to uh, accentuate any story. What, you a, what accent? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I did a reading for a Dino De Laurentiis movie one time, and the casting director comes over and goes, "You need to lose that accent." <laughs> like what? <laughs> but it's who I am. Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. So, man, I'm so looking forward to coming back over there. Man, it's a uh, one of our favorite parts of the country. I'm married to my manager, and so she tours with me, man. We take our little dog with us, and we're loving getting to see America, dude. We're we're godly people, and we drive through these highways, dude. And we're we're so, we're so, we're like, look at that gorgeous cornfield. <laughs> we're yeah. we're stupid <laughs> to be with. It's great. That's great. That's a great. That's a great way to travel too. And uh, you know. You've got this catchphrase, save up. How did that start? Tell us about that. Man, I was do I tell you exactly where that started. I was the MC, the little opening act at a comedy club. I think it was called the Comedy Corner. But anyway, it was in Milwaukee, Milwaukee Wisconsin. And of course I'm warming the crowd for the experienced guys to come out, you know. And so I'm kind of doing some crowd work and I uh Told the people, I go, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. If you've never been to Jackson, save up, go for that second honeymoon. And they laughed. And that's really the only place I had been using it in my act. So a few minutes later, I just address a table that's sitting up front trying to, you know, get get the audience warmed up. And I go, I go, um, I go, are y'all married? And the guy goes, yeah, we're married. And I go, do y'all have kids? And the lady goes, five. 
and a woman in the back of the room yelled, save up. <laughs> and the whole place fell to pieces, man. So I went, wait a minute, I need to just be repeating save up. So so that's how that came to be way, way back in old Tommy days. And now I've added, <laughs> now I've added, there's that. <laughs> to the story so man it is really fun you know god wants us to laugh and be happy proverbs says a merry heart doeth good like a medicine you know we paraphrase it and say laughter does but i really feel like like it's an honor like i'm honoring god and the gift he gave me to tour and to make people laugh and smile for an hour you know it's not a pointed act i don't pick on people um so it's just a, man, it's a wonderful career. Hard as I'll get out, terrifying, but I'm really, really tickled that I get to do it. And so if, and for people in the area that have seen me before, I've got a bunch of new material, too. So that makes it even better. Well, that's going to be that's going to be wonderful. It, it, we were talking earlier about Moonshiners, and you've been a part of that for, for eight seasons, I think. Yeah, I've been on for eight seasons. We're in season, we just finished season 13. And uh, I was talking to the powers that be this past week, and we're going to try to start filming, I think, around July. So so it's about time to crank up and get back in the woods with those guys. And, man, I got to tell you, I learned this, Phil, by doing moonshiners. The word hillbilly actually means a genius in over with a spit cup. <laughs> So, hey, and, and that could be the win. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's but, a... <laughs> but, dude, it amazes me these, you know, we, we, you hear all the terms mountain folk, whatever. It amazes me how brilliant these cats are. They absolutely jaw-dropping at, a, at, at the resourcefulness and just the I get it that these cats have. So that's really changed my perspective on a lot of America just by touring and seeing firsthand what people actually are capable of. So it's really cool. And I've got some good stories about moonshine. I'll probably tell something I'm not supposed to tell, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, it's going to be so much fun. And again, that's coming up on uh, June the 7th at the Stuart Ritz Theater. Uh, by the way, you can go to Killer Bees. That's B E A Z now, killerbees.com. Or, and uh, get your tickets, or you can also check it out, ritztheatertecoa.com, and find out how you can go by and get your tickets. And you got tickets at great prices, too. It's not uh, priced out of this world, so it's a great, great well, t- ticket price there. Yeah, I didn't grow up with money. I don't have money. You know, it, I would I would be doing this for free, Phil. I love making people laugh. It's been my life's work, and I want people to be able to afford to come out and share it. So... So I'm glad you point that, pointed that out, man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Anything else you want to add today? Killer? Well, that's, I guess that's <laughs> oh, July 19th. July 19th, I will do my 23rd Grand Ole Opry appearance. Wow. So y'all come on over. And if anybody's been to the Opry, I've actually had the opportunity to be backstage a few times. That is a neat situation there at the Grand Dude, Ole Dude, they Opry. seat 4,000 people in, in the Opry house. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a great deal. Now you've been you've uh, you've been on uh, that. You've been uh, you were on the Nashville Network uh, a long oh, time. Oh yeah, there. I, man, I did like a hundred appearances on CMT, CMT and TNN. Yeah. I did all those all those shows, Crook and Chase, and Love that show. City that was a great show. Yeah. Now that yeah, I want to talk about old timey days. I was in the first ever issue, the first ever comedy issue of Rolling Stone magazine. Wow. Wow. So yeah, that was I think eighty nine or something. Yep. So you have so, been doing this a while. <laughs> yeah, forty two years, buddy, and I absolutely love years. it. That is great. That's great. So it is a family uh, show. You're going to love it, folks. Family friendly. Uh, again, June seventh, seven thirty p.m. at the Historic Ritz Theater. Killer Bees. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Hey, I love you, man. Thank you so much, brother. Talk to you soon.